welcome everybody. Thanks for clicking on this video. You're watching Attack the Hill. New series that I've created on my channel um, where we'll be kind of discussing sort of my own personal and some of the community's uh, opinions and sort of insight on some of the games that we love to play and some of the games that we don't exactly favor the most. Uh, we're going to be talking about Halo Infinite today and right now um, jumping into the game as it as it is right now um, it's not exactly perfect but it is it is beautiful um, as you can see here just looking at this pelican absolutely amazing I think the only thing that I have issues with is that there's no front landing gear so the guns just kind of laying on the deck wheels propped up about a couple inches but other than that the Marines Marines phenomenal back in Halo 5 terrible but they really did a really good job with these marines. Knife is pretty big on this guy, but um, you need a big knife, right? Um, maybe he's compensating. Nah, just kidding. But seriously, guys, this is amazing. Look at this. The amount of detail that they put into this game. This is how Halo 5 should have looked. Um, but I'm just glad that they put this much uh, effort into bringing back the old style. Military style. Like, these marines are just... These Marines look just so good. Um, can we talk about like maybe some of like the Forge in the future? I'm hoping that we can we can get these trucks. Hopefully we can get uh, vehicles like these to put in. Uh, these crates look awesome. The detail, the forklift even got uh, a facelift. Um, that's looking pretty good. But overall, I mean, just militaristic vehicles, um, crates, just simple crates. The detail. I'm on the Series X, uh, some of you are on the PC, but wow, just amazing. Uh, I would I would just imagine the detail is just about as good on Xbox One Please as it is on Series X and the Xbox, excuse me, the PC. I'm hoping that we can get scriptable doors as well, um, maybe something we can open up with our custom AI, um, keypads, that awesome. Um, I, I like the fact that they added in Hesco Barriers. If you don't know what a Hesco Barrier is, really easy to set up a uh, real life military uh, when you're deployed. Um, I was hoping for the potential of being able to sort of go to this garage bay um, in this hub, if you will, or training facility, uh, sort of like what the trailer led us to believe that we would be able to get into. Like this was going to be something full fledged with with Spartans and uh, player characters running around or walking around uh, where you could access it and just kind of go into your vehicles and customize them. Just a vehicle bay, an actual uh, vehicle armory. bay. Same thing with the armory. I was hoping that maybe the armory would also, uh, we'd be able to go to like an armory, a physical version versus a menu version and actually uh, select each type of our different weapons and sort of customize it, or if not, maybe maybe a table we just kind of put our AI into. Um, that would be so cool if we could be able to do that, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below um, if you think that would be a cool idea if we had some sort of player hub or even a fire team hub, uh, social hub, some sort of uh, little meeting place where we can kind of um, decorate, or not necessarily decorate, but change out our Spartan armor and our weapons. Uh, so, so, so some sort of like armory where we can change out our weapons and our armor just something more immersive um, I think that would be really cool uh, being able to access that versus the menu um, I was hoping for the range the, the, the range don't get me wrong the range looks amazing um, I like that it looks very mil militaristic realistic um, gunplay is very smooth but I was hoping that there would be like Spartans and Marines training, also firing on the range to get that immersion that there's actual people at this base. Because uh, it just seems like you're alone with um, some AI that don't, that don't really do anything. There's obviously the Spartan that kind of talks in your ear, kind of shows you around, and then kind of leaves. But other than that, it kind of seems empty. And take it with a grain of salt, this is very early that this dropped, and there could be more updates in the future. But um, I'm th these are some potential things I'm hoping for. Uh, same thing with the AI. Hopefully there's a customization uh, bay 
versus just jumping in our menu. Uh, having both would be awesome. Um, I wish there was a social social menu uh, to Halo Waypoint, but basically they said that they removed it because uh, there's no way of being able to connect it. Uh, just isn't going to happen. So what we had in Halo 5, we'll still have that available to work on, but you won't see Spartan companies uh, in Halo Infinite like they kind of promised us back in Halo 5 where our rewards uh, for Halo 5 would show up in Halo Infinite. Um, there's no XP or levels, so I guess that makes sense. Another thing I want to touch on is the atmosphere. Coming to this base, I thought there'd be more formations, uh, troops running. Really, we just kind of get an empty base. Uh, I w if you could imagine Marines down there running in formation or standing in formation, we have those two guarding, but for immersion, I kind of like immersion. Um, maybe in the future there'll be more with this base. Maybe there'll be more to it. Um, like I said, it's too early. As of right now, we kind of just see a couple Marines everywhere doing some exercises. That's really about it. Uh, I think later in this video you'll see Spartans kind of staying around. Um, the, you can't exactly talk to them, they don't really say anything. I was really hoping that this Spartan training facility um, really would actually feel like a Spartan training facility, something like Forward Unto Dawn, the movie. Um, they really put it all, a lot of emphasis into um, making sure that this was kind of put out in some of the commercials and the videos and the hype up for this game. Um, here we are with the Spartans again, like I was saying. They just kind of stand there. They're not really doing anything. Um, I mean, they're really just decoration to me. Kind of throws off the immersion. Uh, you don't really see any names there. I wish there were kind of player names or something. Or gamer tags, or even just made up ones. Um, rather than, I don't know what those numbers are. I guess they're, they're, they're like a social security number equivalent. Um, but... The training on top of that, it, it, you don't see live fire action um, as far as like going through and shooting dummies like you would in real life. You just kind of go through this gauntlet of just punching dummies and that, I guess I get it, it's supposed to, you know, kind of acquaint you to the controls and the layout and make sure that you kind of get your controls down, but I wish that it had a, a little bit more to the firing range, a little bit more to the... To the practice um, a little bit more immersion but those are just nitpicky otherwise everything looks phenomenal and infinite it is amazing and I haven't even gotten to the multiplayer aspect of it um, granted I think in my I have played the multiplayer but in my mind I think that uh, really some of the guns could use a little bit of tweaking but like I said it's in its early phase so maybe we could see some balance changes in the future but in this clip I just kind of show you that like the grenade in any other game if the grenade got that close to you you would pretty much be dead if not pretty close to dead you can see it kind of just pops his shields um, and that's pretty much it you have to almost get it underneath their feet in order for it to actually kill them you can't have the radius um, kill them like you see there it just pops his shields that's about it throw another one here that one actually glitched out so I need to throw a, another one here. Um, that one actually kills him. I think I landed that one right underneath of him. Um, try this one again. It's not too far back behind him. The sandbags stop it, but you can see it just pops his shields and that's that's it. It's not enough to, to go through his shields and armor like we had in previous games. Um, so you really, it grenades, you can't, you have to really get it underneath their feet like I did there. You have to, you have to really be accurate with these grenades. So like if you're going to lose a firefight and you do the new move where you just chuck a grenade hoping that you get up from the grave, you're probably you're probably not gonna get it from the grave as often. You kinda have to get it right under their feet. Next thing I want to talk about, microtransactions. I think we all know this this is pretty uh, this is pretty garbage. Uh, if you guys remember in Halo Reach, um, yeah. They're pretty much selling the pieces. You have to pay $10 for the pass. You can only go through challenges, blah, blah, blah. We all know. But look at this. That is that is a lot of money. $15 for those three little dinky things. 
um, a color and emblem and a bumper. Fifteen dollars, twenty bucks for lame ass armor. Um, these things are two bucks a piece. That's sad. Um, you can get the free stuff, but I mean, really, all you get out of the free are these little boosts and swaps, these little challenge swaps. In order to go through this pass, you have to, you have to earn XP towards challenges. There's no levels. There's no XP. It's just challenges. You have to complete challenges, which give you XP, a little bit of XP through through this progression system. And the free stuff is mostly just boosts and swaps. So it's really pointless. You don't really see um, any armor pieces until maybe 20, 30 levels in. And then even that, it's really just things like visors. Um, so last thing, final comments. Um, this game, it looks amazing. It runs amazing. It's smooth. Um, I think they could have done more with the social aspect, and it's kind of sad that we don't get Halo Point, uh, Halo Waypoint kind of hooked up to this. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen with Halo Waypoint in the future, um, but I kind of miss the whole clan kind of system. Hopefully Forge will come out and we'll be able to all play together, have our clan wars. I don't know if it'll be like Reach or not. Um, let me know. What do you guys think? Thanks for watching.